Hello guys, today we have another module from IC Station. This time it is a Wi-Fi controlled uh, dual relay module. So this little board is fairly simple as far as I can see. We have an ESP8266 module here, which basically contains an ESP8266 chip. The only uh, pins on the chip that are wired really are the communication pins and maybe a few uh, reset and things like that. Not a huge amount from a chip that, as you can see, has a huge amount of outputs. So it's one of the uh, basic uh, ESP8266 modules and then that comes over to our board here and what basically happens is this module gets the signal from your Wi-Fi whether it's coming from a phone or a computer it doesn't really matter and then it outputs it on the UART signal which goes to this little uh, chip down here which is just a, a little microcontroller that then controls our relays through the uh, various little bits of uh, circuitry here will be a little transistor that uh, will supply the power to energize the coil and switch the switch inside the relay. The module has two modes which you select with the S1 button here and I think the second button then is a reset button. Uh, I think that's what it is. It calls it uh, restore to factory settings on the IC station website. But I think it's basically just a reset button. According to the IC station website, the little chip here is programmed so that there's two modes. The first mode you can uh, directly communicate with the with the module, and I think the second mode uh, you communicate with the module via the Wi-Fi router. So not exactly sure how that works, but uh, those seem to be our two options. And uh, I'm going to try the first option because I. I can kind of figure a way how to do that. I haven't used a Wi-Fi module like this before, so it's kind of a learning process for me. Everything I've read seems to suggest that a smartphone is the easiest way to configure one of these. So that's what we'll do. First thing we need to do is just power up the module. Now mine's 5 volts, so I have a 5 volt power supply here. And we're now connected. We have a little green light flash in there. That means it's working. So the next thing we need to do is hit the little S1 button and this puts it into an access mode or so I'm told and the next we need to open our app. Once it's in the access point mode uh, we need an app and the one I'm using is the ESP8266 smart config app and basically what this is going to do is connect to our ESP and configure it so that it knows the Wi-Fi password and uh, we'll be able to then connect to it uh, through our Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to enter in my SSID and I'm just going to leave the other configurations the same. And that should uh, hopefully set it up on my network. So there we go, we've uh, got it connected successfully and it's given us uh, our IP address for the module there so need to take a note of that because we're going to use it uh, when we're programming the little uh, board later on. So the next step to control it I downloaded an app called Easy TCP and I'm going to connect to this one. I'll use the address that we got uh, in the previous step and I have seen on the internet that the port is 8080 so uh, I'll use my IP address that we got earlier and the port 8080 and then connect. So that seems to have connected alright there. We have our IP address up there. It seems to be alright. What we need to do now then is come over here and set up a little keyboard thing. Maybe what's this little switch? It's basically the same thing by the look of things. So uh, you put in a little message there. Uh, not a little message. The, the message is that are going to control the uh, the relay so 
uh, I'll put those up on the screen now and you can copy them in. You basically, I think you need four buttons one for relay one on, one for relay one off, one for relay two on, one for relay two off. So you need to add all those in, uh, name the buttons, and uh, then we'll try the next step. So I'll do that now. So here's an example of one of them filled in. Uh, there's the little commands. So we hit OK. Uh, if we push our button, relay on, relay off. So that seems to be working. So I'd call that a success. I'll enter in the values for the next one and I'll show you those settings as well just so uh, you have them. There's the settings for the second relay. So uh, if you add them in like that, it should work. So that's all there is to this little module, it seemed very simple to set up to me, it just needed two apps, add in a little bit of code and yeah, immediately have control of those two relays via the Wi-Fi. So all in all it seems like a great little module to me, I can't see uh, making something cheaper for or cheaper than $7 to do the same job so you know if that's all you need to do, control a couple of relays, it's definitely uh, an option and they, they have 12 volt relays and they have uh, 5 volt relays, which this one's a 5 volt, but uh, you have a couple of options there and there's single and dual relay boards, so there's a couple of options there if you need them. But that's all I have to say about the module, so if you like the video make sure and hit the thumbs up. If you want to get one yourself head on over to IC Station, the link should be in the description. And yeah, I think that's pretty much everything, so thanks very much for watching.